All right, today, lesson 7.3.4, or as CPM calls, activity. Um, here's what you're going to be doing. Little graphs down here. These little graphs are these meteors, these little dots here, towards the Earth, okay? And if they hit the Earth, and back in the dinosaur ages, Earth, we become extinct. We don't want that to happen. So you have been employed as a, uh, as a member of the Earth Protection Services Group to um, cannon. Now we have the, we have this cannon, very cool cannon. It's called the Linear Laser Cannon. All it does is it shoots in a complete straight line, but it will disintegrate or destroy anything that it touches, including these meteors, no matter how big or small they might be. I know if you don't think this is totally realistic, get over yourself for a second and just have fun with this, okay? So here's what we got. Game one. And I'm going to make this, I'm going to try and view this in just a little bit bigger. So give me a moment to try this. Uh, let's see, we're currently zoomed at 100%. Let's go 125. Oh, perfect. And then it doesn't fit on the board. Let's try and see if we can change that a little bit. Hello. I really want to zoom over there. All right. Let me try this. Hey, there we go. Mr. Anderson, you just got to be smarter than the game. All right, so there we go. Now, game one. Here are the six meteors. Your job is, and, oh, and by the way, when you fire this cannon, it's extremely expensive. It costs millions of dollars per shot. I know, just, just go with it. All right, and so you can only, per game, fire three shots. If it takes you more than three shots to fire it, you lose the game. So you need to come up with three equations of lines. Maybe grab these two points and come up with an equation of the line that will destroy both of those. You're going to come up with what that equation is based on what you did yesterday in Lesson 7.3.3. Rewatch the video if you need to on how to find the y equals mx plus b given two points. But you're going to come up with the equation of the line that destroys this. You're going to graph that line and label that line with its equation. And if you choose to do these two for the next one, you would do that. Maybe you chose to do those two. That's okay. And then the last two are these two. Whatever it is, there's all sorts of possibilities for which way you want to do your equations of lines. You have fun with it and come up with the equations of lines. Now, you need to come up with three, three equations to destroy all the meteors here. You need to come up with three equations here. By the way, this very first point, 9, negative 2, I noticed, is not graphed. Let's see. Oh, wait, maybe it is. 9, negative 2. One of these is not graphed. 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 7 is graphed. Negative 4, negative 5, looks like it's graphed. Negative 8, negative 7. That's the one that, oh, no, it's positive 7. That's probably graphed up there. 9, oh, 9, negative 2 is graphed twice on here. So this one's up here twice. That's why there's only 5 up here. So anyways, you get three lines to destroy these. So come up with those three lines. And then three lines to destroy these lines. By the way, this is a point right here. So make sure you understand that. All right, so you're going to come up with probably a grand total of nine equations. You're going to graph these, and you're going to put them on your graph paper. You're going to draw the lines, and you're going to label the lines with the equations that go with those. Um, that is what you're doing for tonight's homework. Uh, so get that done, and we will see you tomorrow in class with us. Have some fun with it, you guys. We'll see you.